My name is Jennifer Angus and I'm an artist in the Fragile Earth exhibition. For this piece, I had visited the Brandywine Museum actually two years ago before the pandemic and was taken all around the grounds, the campus, uh, to N.C. Wyeth's studio, to Andrew Wyeth's studio, with particular attention paid to patterns. And so on the wall, you will see a wallpaper that was found on the second floor of the building that houses Andrew Wyeth's studio. And I have adapted the pattern. It's not exactly the same, but that really places this project as being at the Brandywine. I wanted to create something that was kind of of a domestic scale, which this gallery, the, the walls are about eight feet high, but you can probably see that it's lit by chandeliers, which gives it a very warm feel. And here you are invited to be curious, I would say, that there is so much to see. Uh, there are cabinet drawers where you get to have a close look. Now, these insects are often anthropomorphized. They're standing on their rear legs. They uh, visit museums, just like we are. And that's one of the things I've tried to do is to kind of create uh, an empathy for insects. If we thought about them as leading lives parallel to our own, that they have families, that they go to work. And actually, if you think about bees and ants that live in a colony, everyone has a job. In fact, we call insects industrious often. So within these drawers, they're extremely industrious. So insects, like a lot of other animals, are on the decline. and. Maybe some people want to go, yay, I hate those. That is not what you should be thinking. So the noted biologist E.O. Wilson said that we have about six weeks on this planet if we don't have insects. And you might think, why? And perhaps, oh, they pollinate. We all know about colony collapse and bees disappearing. But there are a lot of other insects that are pollinators. We need them to decompose matter but perhaps their most important role is in the food chain. So when we start seeing, or stop seeing, I should say, other animals such as birds, smaller mammals, is it because there are fewer insects? And why is that? Well, urban sprawl, climate change, light pollution, pesticides, and these are all problems caused by humans. So I think that Hopefully people will come and I certainly hope they will say, wow, I've never seen anything like this, but they will leave thinking about insects differently. <laughs>